What's up, Internet? It is February 24th, 2019, and I had an interesting little episode before any of this began. Uh, just as I was about to start, my lights died, so I, I had to go change some light bulbs, and then after that, weirdly enough, when I kicked into the GameCube game, my Wii Remote didn't shut off for some reason. I've never seen that happen before, it's bizarre. But uh, anyway, we are here in the town to do town-related activities, as we do. Got a letter from the HRA saying that our house is about as housey as it's always been. Letter from Tom Nook with an exotic screen. We already have one. Plus, of course, our presents from our secret admirer, Mr. Museum. Maybe she or he sent us something cool. Well, Mr. Museum, did you send us a thing? We got a dinosaur track. That's not worth very many bells. A terrace skull. That'll actually be worth a fair bit. Skulls tend to be worth the most. And... Ammonite. Kabuto was better. I'm just gonna say it. If you picked the uh, spiral fossil instead of the helix one, you did something wrong. The dome fossil. If you picked the uh, dome fossil... That's the good one. It's the Helix one that's bad. <sighs> As you can tell, I'm, I'm not feeling super, super great right now, but... Uh, I think that's just the cold and a bunch of stress and stuff. Uh, we got a polar fleece. That sounds warm. What does that look like? I mean... It's not terrible, but it's something different. Maybe I'll wear this for a little while until something better shows up. Hey, and all these little trees are growing a little bit bigger. Hooray! Hey, Mr. Nook. Time to sell some stuff. I might need those fruits, but we can get more, I'm sure. Alright, well, we got some bells out of that. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Do we have anything cool up here, though? Some very citrusy furniture. Oh, hey, my first uh, shirt. And an eight ball shirt. Let's try that on. Yeah, what the hell, we'll buy the 8-ball shirt. And, uh, we'll keep that for another time. Because I don't want to wear the same shirt twice if we can help it. A modern wall. Let us see this modern wall. That looks really ugly. It's all splotchy and gross. Next. A lovely wall. How lovely is it, though? I think this wall is bragging about its loveliness a little bit too much. I, I don't think I can stand that. And finally, we have a concrete wall, which we saw yesterday, actually. And I'm still not interested in it. Actually, that lovely wall looks, uh... Vaguely like a wallpaper my parents used to have way back in the day. It was so ugly. <laughs> Alright, so we got some Cosmos. I can have enough room. Yeah, I will. Some pansies. Which are great. They grow in any sort of lighting condition, as well as tulips. Tulips are not that great to grow, because, like, they, they pre-bloom, and then they bloom, and then they basically die instantly. If you're trying to build a garden around tulips, I wouldn't recommend it. They're great for bouquets, though. They tend to live an inordinate amount of time when they're just, uh, cut. For some reason. But they tend to die really fast if you leave them up, right, for some bizarre reason. I don't know why that is, though. Oh, hey, and we got a new, uh, set of tickets. So we can go for another round of raffles. Hopefully we'll actually win something this month. That would be nice. rid of that weed. Let's go put our shirts in our basement where I'm pretty sure we have no room. Seriously, we have got to uh, find some point to just start cleaning house, but I don't want to. <laughs> Art imitating life, I suppose. I just, I don't want to clean. 
can go here, I guess, until I can actually be asked <laughs> to clean this place. Don't wanna... Okay, now our top priority right now is checking in on the wishing well. Now I figure when they say that we've basically done everything to a satisfactory level, what that means. Oh, there's a digging spot. I figure what that means is that the amount of trees is fine and there's nothing too egregious but there's probably at least one or two trees that are just next to each other that we're gonna have to fix that said they're not exactly telling us where so that's not good but we'll make sure that our rating hasn't dropped down to bad again let me kick the ball into the ocean because those are stupid things feel as they should Okay, so as far as I'm aware, nothing terribly bad has happened, which means we should just spend some time going acre by acre and seeing if we can root out some problems with trees just being right next to each other, I guess, and then trying to replace them, so we should probably get some fruits. I'll just write this preemptively to the museum because we all know that's where it's going. So we're looking for trees that are basically next to each other with no space in between them. I'm not sure if this affects verticality, but I think this something like this would be fine. It's a matter of like if one was right right next to it, which I've seen one or two of and I've tried to correct that when I see it. seeing anything yet. Again, it's kind of hard to tell what is justified as being in the actual acre and what is not. That's pretty clear, it looks like. Get rid of that. I think there's a limit to how many weeds you can have in any one acre as well as in total as well. Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, so this tree is a problem. Is this in the way for anything else? Okay, now I don't think that would affect the next one over. I think it just would affect this acre. And so, if we were to plant something like, say, right here, that should mitigate the problem a little bit. I think. Let's get rid of that stump. That's not good. These two are right next to each other, too. And this one's in like three sectors. I don't know what that's all about. Um, okay, well, the most problematic one would be the central one, I think. So I guess we'll pack this one down and hope for the best. Whoops. Oh, now I gotta clean those pairs up. Now, a good way to tell if we just messed up by doing that because that thing was in like three separate acres is to run back to the wishing well and tell us if there's uh, any other problems. If there's immediate problems, then we know we screwed up pretty hard. And if there aren't, that means we might have actually done a real big favor. So that seems to be okay. Hey kitty, what are you up to? But I did forget about you, kitty, I'm sorry. 
No, I'm not changing the town tune. It's awesome. You're mean. You know, if you wanted to be nicer to me, maybe I would. No, I wouldn't, but still. You know, don't be mean to me, kitty. Hey, Olivia, what's up with you? Uh, fine, I'll go to Peaches and get your Pokemon Pikachu. Holy crap, tomorrow's the 25th. I, I think tomorrow's the last day of winter in Animal Crossing. That's kind of exciting. Okay, so we're just gonna get rid of these pears because they're not worth the space in the inventory. Okay. So I think we managed to clear up what little problem that would have had. Is there anything else like that? We gotta go back to the A acres, I think. So there's some nice spacing. You can run between the trees, that's important. We got ourselves a fossil. That's a problem, though. To the Axe Mobile. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I figured that could happen, but. <laughs> they were truly the guardians of the forest. Stupid bees. I think our axe just snapped a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's now kind of a little raggedy looking. Okay, we gotta plant another tree. Where's a good tree place? I think here would be a good place for a tree. Okay, that should be it for the A sectors. Hey, okay, got ourselves another fossil. But no paper. We'll have to go back to Mr. Nook's. There's some space. Ooh, there's not though. Now again, because it's on like that weird line, I'm not sure if it's in this acre or the next. do something about this, and you know, if the wishing well tells us there's a problem in the next aisle, I guess we know that we screwed up again. Very an apple. Okay, so these two are going to be a problem. That looks like that's it. For this sector. And I feel like... I don't know, I, I kind of want to take the lower one. But this one's definitely in this sector, so that'll at least give us a better understanding of what we're going after. I can plant a tree here. And then everything's better. I hope. Oop, these two are next to each other, we gotta get rid of that. Okay, there's space between those two. Try to plant one. That's probably too close to that house. If we try to plant one there, that might actually work out for us. Okay, that seems okay. 
The sacred seems to be okay. Nope, there's room between those two. It's not between these ones, though. I have a solution. Those two are next to each other, that's less than ideal. Okay, well, let's get rid of the pear tree. Hey, we got some free bells I missed. Bonuses! Plus we can extend our little, uh, our little garden a little bit more. Okay, that's all that. Now, if we wanted to plant another tree... I'm not sure it would grow, but I'd want to plant one here. So we need ourselves some fruit. Slowly we're going to find out how to make this town perfect. Whether the game wants us to or not. The perfect town will be achieved! It's probably too close to masonry, but still. Plant that there. I think this acre's done. Those two are too close. Fortunately, there's a lot of room we can plant trees in. Here's a perfect place. Yep, this acre seems to be okay. And we'll check the next acre and then we'll go check our progress and then I think that should be that for the day. I haven't seen anything too, too close. That could be, though. And that's the problem, if you do too much, you could, like, really make a mistake, and then you kind of have to iterate upon several mistakes you may have made without realizing it. And having to go back and check with the wishing well of uselessness whether or not you actually manage to do the right thing or not that's just kind of annoying okay well, that gives us a little bit more breathing room i think those are all the uh trees that are right next to each other in that sector so let's go talk to the wishing well and see what they say probably i need more trees in an acre because i screwed up Or that's fine for now, but the moment they die tomorrow, then they don't count and I have to figure out what went wrong. Okay, well.
at the very least, I think we're making progress. And that's important. It's important to make progress. Okay, Mr. Nook. I have some useless fruit to sell you, and I need to buy some paper so I can sell some things to our secret admirer, Mr. Museum. I wonder... I'm genuinely curious if we have all the paper yet. We don't. I know that there's at least one for Halloween. Like, there's special, like, event papers as well, but... I wonder exactly how many of the standard ones we're missing yet. I will buy the vine paper. Then we shall write a letter to Mr. Museum. They'll be so impressed with our writing skills that they'll send us a fully formed fossil. I already dealt with one bee, so I'm not even going to bother trying to shake more trees for more bees. But we can go find the magic money rock of destiny. Hey! This guy grew. I'm shocked about that, actually. Looks like a lot of the trees we planted yesterday took. That's good. That means we may have made a lot of progress whether we intended to or not. Even though it's entirely out of our hands. stack of bells. I'm impressed. I didn't think we'd have the room in our giant tiny pockets. grow, because I think we've got a pretty good spread of them. Stupid ball. I wonder if it's possible to bounce one over a river and uh, let it land on the other bank. Here to mail three letters, and then I'm out of letters. More, Phyllis. More. All right, so that's done. Hopefully we're actually going to get some results that put us a little bit better than just simply, you know, you're doing okay, keep it up. But you know how it is. Peaches, wake up. You silly donkey. I don't think you will. You should go to bed and not freeze yourself outside. Silly donkey. Alright, let's go see if Booker did his job for the day. He did not. Silly Booker. I think Gracie's coming to town soon, but let's just cover that with copper. Yep. Gracie's coming tomorrow. I'm wondering if I should try and bring up my turbo controller again and see if uh, I can 
defeat the Gracie challenge. Because clearly I can't on my number number on my normal power. Uh, talking is hard. Will we see our pal Gulliver today? I don't think so, but it's possible. But no. And because it's Sunday, uh, Tortimer is not going to be around. Ah, Olivia. I wasn't sure if it was Olivia or Kitty that uh, had the Pokemon Pikachu I was delivering. Oh god. These are a bunch of trees that are just next to each other. Oh, that's gonna be a headache. But that's a headache for another day. I see no Gulliver. Alas. Mints in her house. Hank appears to have fallen asleep staring at the pond. That seems like Hank. Aw, you're mean, Olivia. But I got you your stupid Pokemon Pikachu thingy. No, I won't be doing that because writing letters in these games are kind of terrible. And also stop giving me stationery, it's a terrible gift. Alright, well I think that's about everything I wanted to get done, so uh... Let's see if we can, at the very least, get to uh... Honda 2 and punch out. Peculiar. I should have saved that. surprised that uh, didn't take him out instantly. I kind of thought it did. I'm still learning about even the most basic competitors in this game. That speaks volumes about the complexity of it. Two. 
three. Let's go. I knew he was going to do it too, and I still decided to go for the upper punch. So at least I'm getting a good feel for how the game works behind the scenes. It's just intuition, but still. I don't trust my gut enough, I guess. get that weird like counter star and then get clobbered by him by that attack too that was weird that one time yeah I think when he does that like hook instead of like a straight jab after that he goes for the duck. Like that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm at least confirming my understanding of how this is working now, I think. Still gotta find a way to actually counter that, but still, you know, progress. for its actual progress if I don't act on it. Wow, I'm going to round three with Piston Honda. That's depressing. If I get taken out right now, I don't mind because I just noticed something interesting. When he did that, the timer stopped. <laughs> that might be a small thing, but it's kind of interesting to me. Nope, that's it. Oh well. Can't always be progressing. Sometimes you just have to fail at easy stuff. But you'll learn stuff, possibly. I, I did. I learned that, you know, the timer stops when he does a special, which I think is interesting. Oh well. There's always tomorrow to get better at Punch-Out. And 
and I hope you've enjoyed this epic quest for trying to make the village a more perfect place, despite not getting any information as to what makes it perfect in the first place. Um, if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we are doing this every day as we have thus far. You may also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, because it's a lot. And if you really want to make my day, hit up the show's PayPal or Patreon, kick a few bells my way to keep the lights on, and get yourself on the supporters Discord where we can talk about awesome things like trying to figure out how to make this place more perfect. And that one time you accidentally took down an improper tree only to be greeted by bees. Because that was... that was just unlucky timing. <laughs> Pretty comical though if I think about it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.